Nashville, Tennessee. Well, hello, fellow hunker downers. If you've been watching our videos, thank you, but you might have noticed that we recently made the shift from full time travel <laughs> to resettling in our hometown of Chattanooga, Tennessee, where we're trying to figure out how we work but also have time to still go on adventures. And so while we figure out what our next big adventure is, we're gonna be doing a lot of like nearby exploring, which is what brought us to Nashville, where we've been a million times. I was born here. Hayes has never been. So we're here for a couple nights. We just ate at Mas Tacos, which is a place we've heard of many times, had never been. It was good. It wasn't like the most incredible in the world, but it was very chill, good vibes, very kid friendly. We will go to a playground tomorrow. So we are gonna be trying to find things that are kid friendly here in Nashville. And our next stop. I like that woozy blah blah blah. I like that woozy blah blah blah. I like that woozy blah blah blah. I like that woozy eight. And I like that woozy nine. And I like that woozy ten. Our next stop is a soccer game. That just so happened to take place. Like we didn't plan this. He was just like, oh, there's soccer! I looked it up yesterday in the hope that there was going to be a game because I have been desperate to come to this stadium. Cheers. This is such a great stadium. I wanted to come to it because it's brand new and it's like soccer specific. It's only designed for soccer. Only soccer is going to happen here. Oh, apart from Shania Twain next month. So it's just like you're super close to the pitch. Like we can see the players like really close up. It's just very, very well designed. And I love it. Fun fact, into Miami, who's that's Nashville, who's Nashville's playing tonight? Owned by one of my absolute heroes, David Beckham. So David Beckham. Oh, I lost my voice. That was awesome. I can highly recommend it. If you're coming to Nashville, go and watch them. Okay, but this time change is really, really killing me. So, I'll see you in the morning. Nashville's an hour behind Chattanooga. I'm jet lagged. Good morning. Okay, the thing about Nashville is you can come here and do like all of the hip and cool stuff. We're staying in East Nashville this time, which we've been to East Nashville, but we've never stayed out here. Um, and so the decision between like hip cool Nashville breakfast or like southern meet and three was the decision today and we went with the southern meet and three so we were at Nashville Biscuit House which I've never heard of or been to. Um, we're here for biscuits. I probably just said a lot of things. Sorry. So anyway, I, I realized I probably just said a lot of things on there that I know we have a lot of international viewers. So meet and three is a restaurant that serves a meat and like three sides, like a lunchtime thing. And a biscuit, if we picked up any of Pete's brethren, is kind of like a scone, but buttery, butterier and greasier and generally more delicious. Did you just say that they just dropped one on the table as soon as you came in? I didn't, straight to the point. I don't know if this is like a, a biscuit house thing or we have a cute three-year-old thing, but like within moments of us sitting in this booth, we got a biscuit on the table, so I I, look at that. Ooh, steamy. Hey, Hayes, you're gonna taste it? No. Oh, you're good. It just it flakes no matter what. Mmm. 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 For our international viewers, I also got grits, which is very, very popular down here in the south. Smothered with butter. Got also a rambunctious three-year-old trying to escape. Uh, and also, like, I got a biscuit, but again, also very traditional, is gravy. Which, gotta be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of. I love gravy, the British kind, not the southern kind. But we got it just to show you. It's all very good. Recommend. I'll sauce some of your grits. Yeah, you know, no. Yeah, we headed out to Nashville, we drove straight into the morning. Made it there by sunrise. Watch the buildings glow. No one ever 
Gotta work all this fun. I thought you lived in Chattanooga. I don't, I don't have the uh, upper body strength for this. I think it's because I'm too tall, actually. So, this is Cumberland Park. We were actually gonna go to Centennial Park today and let Hayes scooter around, but our friend recommended this. Jack, you may have seen it in the cornbread video. It was right up our alley, because it's like a very urban park. And if you've been here a while, you know that we're not great at nature. So it was our first stop in the morning. It was a really good one. Thank you, Jack. Jack always has the best national recommendations because he used to live here, but we recently got him to move to Chattanooga, which as great as Nashville is, Chattanooga's way better. Come to Chattanooga. Just pausing for a moment to tell you about one of the realities of travel, uh, and that is that we've been waiting about 10 minutes on this bridge to watch a barge with a bunch of dirt go under it. There it comes. There it comes. Woo. Uh, see, I'm. Hayes has been waiting. I've actually been waiting too. It's pretty cool. Alright, this is gonna be the show on Europe. Okay, so we've never done this before, but we're in the Goo Goo store, which is Nashville's most famous little snack thing. Oh, the first candy bar. Oh, right. So, let's have a look here. Let's... You want milk chocolate? Okay, so go to Sweet Fillings next. Press this one. Red one. This is um, something we've never done. But Hayes is designing his own Goo Goo Cluster. The original Goo Goo Cluster is from 1912 and is peanuts, marshmallow nugget, and caramel covered in milk chocolate. It's basically like a really delicious Snickers. I think Hayes has stumped them. We seem to have done something wrong. Oh no, I want to Hold on, I got you. We got That's a lot going on. There we go. And then we'll top it with the sprinkles. Oh, okay? Brilliant. Love it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. What's your candy bar called? Chocolate Hayes Vanilla. Chocolate Hayes Vanilla. Chocolate Hayes Vanilla. Banana chips, fruity pebbles, and Oreos. And peanut butter. And hazelnut. They forgot the sprinkles. It's five o'clock somewhere. We were gonna come to Nashville and not be tourists. But then we remembered we quite like Broadway. And Hayes has never been to a honky tonk. So we're at our favorite, Robert's Western World. It's 11 o'clock on a Thursday. It's full. There's nowhere like Broadway. I mean, it's like that stuff said, it's like midday. There's a ton of musicians playing. And then some are like giving it their all. And you're like, you're playing to like not many people, but it's not the point. It's just, I don't know. A lot of people here trying to make it, which is really awesome. Yeah. It's like, it's like Hollywood, but for music. I mean, quite frankly, it's very touristy, and it smells like last night's beer and piss. But if you're coming to Nashville, you can't not do this. Living that high life. I don't think I'll ever understand cowboy boots because they look like really uncomfortable, very hot, and they're like always like baggy. Like they're not like tight. Like I feel like they should be like tighter around your leg, right? Do you not get really bad blisters? Now oh, Stetson on the other hand. I need to get one. Two of Hayes' favorite things in the world are vehicles and hot dogs. So we've come to I Dream of Weenie. We're back in East Nashville. 
We're eating hot dogs. They're very good. I mean, it's a hot dog. It's great because they're all under five dollars. It's outside. It's simple. It's easy, and it's served out of a VW camper van. And if we're being completely honest, Hayes, who's in the midst of potty training and withholding stool, pooped in his pants right outside. So while we sometimes love to eat interesting, exciting, whatever foods, this trip is very much what is easy and kid friendly. And now we can confidently say that this is a place that if your kid poops their pants, you won't feel too bad about it. He's feeling a lot better. Which is, which is a plus. I got the uh, slaw dog. Also, they wrote Hayes' nail on his hot dog. I'm sorry that was TMI. We don't do that a lot, but I... Three right. and a half is hard, and I feel increasingly like I'm lying to you if I make it look like it's all um, super easy and pleasant. This is East Nashville Brew Works, and like I said, we've been in, to Nashville a billion times, but never with a kid. So I was like Googling all the kid stuff. As soon as I found out that this brewery had a playground, I mean, we added it to the list, obviously. We haven't been at like a brewery, at a place with a playground since South Africa, where like every one of the vineyards had playgrounds. Hayes is going to show you on Hayes Cam all the features in this playground. <laughs> While we have a beer. <laughs> oh, are we setting up a shop? Go on, Hazy. It's up the fence. <laughs> Turn it around. And now we are at Cheekwood Gardens, which if you know Nashville, you know is on the complete opposite side of town to East Nashville, where we've been hanging yeah. out. But we were looking for like family friendly events and they have a Thursday night out May through October where there's food trucks and there's a band or in the case of tonight, some vinyl DJs and you can explore the gardens and you can go inside the mansion and they have this toy train thing that Hayes absolutely adored and there's green space and there's other children and there's drinks. Uh, and it's kind of the perfect way to spend a Thursday. Loving it, very relaxing. And, uh, oh, and so we have for dinner. I mean, this feels also very southern. Hey, hey. I hope nobody's keeping track with what we've eaten today. It's like tater tot nachos, like pulled pork, ranch, bacon, jalapenos. Only in Tennessee, right? So the other cool thing about coming here in the evening is that right now there is a like light exhibit by Robert Monroe, who's a British artist. And um, it's all lit up, and it's really beautiful when the sun goes down. Tiny little mushrooms, that's what Hayes is calling them. He also said they were, quote, not bad, actually. Yeah, but so he's, he's in right. In case anybody was wondering if he was British. He's right, they're not bad, actually. But I was saying, this, 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 I call them not bad. Actually. Good morning. Uh, we are about to grab some breakfast and head back to Chattanooga, which means we are leaving this lovely home base we've had in East Nashville at the Gallatin Hotel. And on first glance at this place, you might think that it's like a big group hotel, maybe good for the bachelorette parties that Nashville is so infamous for. But it's been awesome for like a midweek family getaway and a lot of the things that make it great for groups make it good for families. We've had plenty of beds. It's super bright and colorful. But the thing that makes this hotel really unique and special is that they give away a very significant portion of their profits to organizations in the area that work with people experiencing homelessness. So through staying at this hotel, there's a rooms to rooms program. Um, and you know that by staying here, hopefully you're helping out somebody in the community through the work they're doing. It's also the first time we've stayed in a hotel that like doesn't have any employees, like a concierge or whatever, it's all totally automated um, through keypads and stuff, which is pretty cool and really great for like a short visit where you don't want to be, you just want to come in at your own time, do your own thing. So it's the Gallatin Hotel. If you're coming to Nashville, we highly recommend it. So our last stop in East Nashville is East Nashville, which is famous for kolaches, which is a pastry I've never heard of. Um, the sweet version, she said, are like a Czech pastry, and then the savory versions are a Texas version of a Czech pastry. So we have a sweet cream cheese one, and then we have some sausage cheddar ones. 
How are they? They're really good. Mm. I love the um, I love like the bread. It's very uh I don't know how to describe it. It actually means sweet dough. Sweet dough, okay. Right. Well, sweet, I like this take. I love it. This is a sausage one. It's really good. Delicious. I've never really had anything like this. We had to go back for another one. Cheesy chive potato. Cheesy potato chive. I don't know. Today's special. It's very good. The people here, everybody in Nashville is so friendly. Uh, but they're very friendly here at East. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's that southern hospitality mixed with a bit of like just uniqueness to the city. Um, and yeah, yeah, they get a lot of tourists there. So, um, but it's, uh, this place is great. I mean, this is awesome breakfast. Like, it's savory and sweet, so everyone's happy. I think that's gonna be it from us in Nashville. Our first American city vlog. Oh. We did the Cornbread Festival, but let us know what you think. Have you been to Nashville? Are you coming to Nashville? Would you like to see more Nashville? Because we'll definitely be here again. Um, I'll put the link to the Gallatin in the description because it's a very cool hotel. Ooh. Hazy, do you want my last word? Bye-bye!